What's up guys, it's Chase Grant from Grow Landscaping and I'm gonna show you my simple lawn care setup that I use for 300 plus dollar work days. I just knock out 10 yards a day with a simple setup and make $300, $30 yards. You don't need much to get started. People question, oh, I need this, I need that to get started, I need a zero turn, I need a trailer. I just have mowers that I put in the back of my bed with planks of wood and a couple racks and I got started. I am 19 years old, I've been doing this for about half a year now and I'm already making $300 a day. I work four days a week, Monday through Thursday, so I'm not working every day of the week. But yep, this is the setup right here. It's a simple setup. You just have your weed whacker and your edger on the side. I got my blower. I, ha I got this rack system online and it basically goes into the bed. So then you can put mounts on it. I wanted it on the side so you know when I'm at a yard, I can just walk up to the side of the truck and grab it easily. All I have is these two push mowers. I don't need to secure them at all because I mean they're the exact length of the bed. I have a six and a half foot bed. So I don't even have to worry about securing them. I get them out with that plank of wood. But yeah, I have a 07 F-150 and it's, it gets the job done. You don't have to worry about anything. I just pull this down, take these planks of wood, put them here. I got these clips for the pieces of wood at Home Depot. They were at Home Depot, about 25 bucks. So it's nothing special. It's just something to get started. And I keep my gas cans right here, just if you guys were wondering. That's why I keep my gas cans. And then in the garage, I have the rest of my equipment. Right here, I have the rakes and shovels. I got a sprayer. I got some of these bad boys, you know, that's how you get the work. And then I have a little bit of fertilizer in this bad boy. I don't use it much. I don't do a lot of hedge trimming. I mainly do mowing. I just do mowing and I do landscaping jobs, like say mulch installation over here. I have my wheelbarrow on some mulch for a job I'm gonna have to be doing soon. So it's, it's not much, it's just something to get started. I feel like the big thing is just getting started, not waiting and waiting and waiting, but just like I did, well, how I started, I grabbed a couple of these, started banging out houses, and I mean the rest is history. You just, it, it's just consistency. You do it over a course of time. I did it for a full month, got zero return. The second month I started getting returns and I just kept hammering it away. Every single day, every single day. Flyers, 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 door hangers, door hangers. And I mean, you work, you put in the work and then you get the results. That's kind of how it works. It's a numbers game. You can, the more you do it, you like kind of know your percentage returns. You'll know like, oh, I put out this much, this is how much I get. But inside the truck, this is all I keep. This is all I keep inside of here. When I'm mowing, I don't usually have a lot in here. I like it to be super organized. I usually put this, I got jumper cables just in case. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. I got trash bags for any cleanup. In the door, I have my mix fuel. I have a little socket set, just in case I need to fix anything. I have tire pressure. Those are small things, doesn't matter. I got a couple of these bad boys always in the truck with me. I got this. Right now I use this to cut the trimmer line, which I keep in that door right there. But yeah, I keep my truck fairly empty in the back. I got gloves right here. I use different gloves for lawn care and then landscape. I use two different gloves. I got some pins in here. Just in case I need to write on the door hangers or do or write anything for anyone. And then on this side I just keep my backpack. This is where I keep I keep my 
wallet, my earbuds, anything that I'm gonna need for the day, my snacks. I bring a water bottle with me, you know, you gotta always have water. You gotta stay hydrated. I keep an extra pair of shoes because I'm gonna tell you what, I used to advertise in work boots. It's not it. I used to advertise in work boots. It's not it. I have neighbors walking past me right now. But, yep, you always gotta keep these. If you're gonna, if you're gonna be doing anything after, you have to have work boots with you. You have no, you have to have tennis shoes with you because work boots, you'll mess up your feet, man. Trust me, I know from experience. But yeah, that's all I keep in my truck. It's really simple. I keep it pretty clean. I'd say myself, I think I keep it pretty clean. And the racks obviously i'm pretty sure you guys seen these racks before they're fairly popular on youtube the green touch you open them and lock them with a key right here and then you go like that but yeah it's a pretty simple setup all I, this is all i keep i got these i only use one lawnmower right now this one's broken the personal pace system is broken but i just use it to hold this one in because I am going to get a new one. Because this one I got, you know. You know when you're starting out, you try to work deals with people. And then you get screwed over. Yep. I paid $500 for that camera. I mean, for that more. And. I mean. A couple weeks. couple, like two months it's broken. So. I mean, you get what you pay for. it. I'm going to get. But I kind of want to get a commercial grade. The Turo Turfmaster. That's what I'm going to get. So I, you know, have something that's good for commercial use. But yeah, that's all I have. When I'm doing advertising, when I'm going to quote out jobs, I always take this bad boy with me. I take my measuring wheel just in case I have to measure mulch or anything. I do most of my uh, measurements through satellite though. So I don't really have to bring it, but I bring it just in case. This is where I keep my door magnet, my car magnets. And these are other boxes of advertisement. Just like that one, that's also door hangers in there. But then these are just the hand tools and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not much to it, you just, you can, I mean, what I started, I didn't have all this when I started. I just started with a push mower and then I had a, I got, I had a combi system that you can have the edger and weed whacker in one. Yep, and then I started with a, it was a Troy built, blower it was a backpack blower but it was a troy built backpack blower all that equipment i mean i'll just say get quality equipment because yeah i got i spent probably 400 500 dollars on my beginner equipment i mean i haven't been doing this for a long time it's already broken so yeah i'll just say get quality equipment i would stick with steel and echo i like echo only because it's at Home Depot and I don't have to go to a dealer and you know I feel like it's just more of a hassle so I just stick with my Echo and I mean yeah that's it you you want to get started just get started message me in the comment section you can email me anything I'll help you get started just really anything if you have any questions just let me know I'll be in touch all right man see you guys